trouble here. Gustafson's in trouble. That's John it. Jones has That's regained it. the throne. Wow. In the world of mixed martial arts, fans are always debating who the greatest MMA fighter is. Some claim it's Conor McGregor, while others would counter and name Kamaru Usman. And then there's John Jones. Johnny Bones Jones is a professional mixed martial artist who rose to prominence for his combat skills and gained worldwide recognition when he became UFC's champion in the lightweight division. At the time of his championship, Jones was only 23 years old, which made him the youngest champion in UFC history. History. But despite his winnings and awards, the fighter's life has been enveloped in controversies, one after the other. Aside from that, there's a lot more to this champion than meets the eye. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to our channel once again, wherein the topic of today's video is another celebrity, this time in the sports industry. For today, we'll be sharing with you some shocking facts about John Jones, so if you want to know more, tune in until the end. But before we progress any further, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel with the alarm bell icon on, so you won't miss out on any of our latest uploads. So who is John Jones? John Jones is a professional mixed martial artist signed under the UFC and is currently at the number one spot at the UFC men's pound for pound rankings. He also made history by becoming the youngest title holder at 23 when he fought Mauricio Rua for the championship belt. Before he got into the octagon, Jones was also an accomplished wrestler before he took up mixed martial arts. As well, as football. Born on July 19, 1987, in Rochester, New York, as Jonathan Dwight Jones, he was one of four kids in the family. He took up wrestling back in high school at the Union Endicott High School in New York, and even won several awards for his skills. He attended Iowa Central Community College, where he played football for a short while, and took the position of defensive lineman. Jones won a JUCO championship from playing football, then transferred to Morrisville State College to pursue a degree in criminal justice but it wasn't long before he dropped out of college to pursue a career in MMA. He made his UFC debut in August of 2008 and put on an impressive fight despite having only two weeks notice of his match, and he went from one match to another until he was matched with Mauricio Shogun Rua on March 19, 2011. He defeated Rua in the third round and became the youngest UFC champion in history. Jones won the light heavyweight championship two times and later on vacated the seat in in August of 2020 to move up to the heavyweight division. His only loss throughout his career at the UFC was due to disqualification in a match against Matt Hamill at UFC's Tough Heavyweights Final. His current net worth as of 2021 is estimated to be around $10 million, with his earnings coming from his matches, partnerships, and sponsorship deals. Jones's father had other plans for him. Jones's father, Arthur Jones, is a pastor at Mount Sinai Church of God in Christ in Birmingham, New York. Like many other concerned parents, his father was also against him pursuing a career as an MMA fighter. Instead, what his father wanted was for him to follow in his footsteps and become a pastor. I wanted him to preach. I tried to discourage him from being a fighter. I told him, you don't want to do that. You can do other things. Be a pastor. His father tried talking him out of martial arts, but it was apparent that the young Jones was determined to fight, and it wasn't long before his father saw the connection between his son's faith and the MMA. In biblical times, there was always warfare. David and Goliath, Samson, the enemies of the Israelites, the older Jones said. They fought in the valleys, on the hills, and in the mountains. My son trains for every fight, not just physically, but spiritually. He once stopped a thief from escaping. We believe crime fighter is another job description that suits the champion, aside from being a formidable MMA fighter. Hours before his light heavyweight title match against Mauricio Rua in 2011, Jones chased down and apprehended a thief who broke into a woman's car before the event. Initially, it was his two coaches, Greg Jackson and Mike Winklejohn, who chased a man who allegedly broke into a woman's car to steal her GPS. Later on, he took to Twitter to detail what happened. So, while we were at the park today, a crackhead smashed this old lady's car window and took off running with her GPS, just as we were pulling up. Right away, Coach, Winkle John, goes after this guy. Without hesitation, Coach Jackson went after him. I was shocked and stood there for a second. Then I threw my phone down and went with my coaches. Before you know it, we're sprinting up a steep hill and chasing after him. Continuing with the story, he tweeted, I turned the jets on. We caught the guy. We got the lady's GPS back. It feels so good to help others. It gives me power and energy. The fighter concluded, 
commented on his tweet, Sports run thick in their bloodline. The Joneses' bloodline has sports running in it since his older and younger brother are also adept players in football. His older brother Arthur was a former defensive lineman just like him, and has played for different teams throughout his career such as the Baltimore Ravens, the Indianapolis Colts, and the Washington Redskins. His younger brother Chandler, on the other hand, plays the position of outside linebacker, and plays for the Arizona Cardinals team. He's also a power lifter. It's no secret that Jones has been suspended multiple times from fighting in the UFC for different reasons. So, rather than letting the time pass freely and absently, Jones took up another sport, powerlifting. With powerlifting, he shifted his focus and attention to the weights, and managed to discipline himself more, being in constant competition with himself. He has the longest reach in all of UFC. This comes as no surprise, since the MMA fighter stands at a towering 6'4". He has a reach that measures 84.5 inches, which is a great advantage against his opponents inside the octagon. He named his daughter after his sister. Aside from two brothers who are also players in their respective sports, Jones also had an older sister named Carmen, whom he named his daughter after. Carmen died shortly after her 18th birthday back in 2000, after suffering from a brain tumor. The family received her diagnosis a few years prior and stood by her side, but she ultimately succumbed to the disease in the end. To pay tribute to his late sister, Jones named his daughter after her in honor of her memory. Despite this tragic event, Jones never wavered and still kept a firm belief in God. He is a devout Christian. And speaking of a firm belief in God, Jones is a devout Christian through and through. He even has the Bible verse Philippians 4.13 tattooed across his chest, which reads, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, which was also his mother's favorite verse from the Bible. Before and after his highly publicized win against former friend Rashad Evans at UFC 145, Jones made sure to give thanks to God, which he shared on Twitter. 2 Timothy 1.7 I thank Thank God for his many blessings. I pray that God's will be done, Jones tweeted, to God be the glory. The Bible verse reads, NIV, for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Rashad spoke out against Jones's perception of himself and his Christianity, but Jones was pretty vocal about his faith. I'm getting ready for one of the biggest fights in my life. My brother's getting ready to be drafted into the NFL, Jones said in a Fox Sports report. We're all going to be extremely happy men, and I really think God is watching over our family and he's blessing us. God doesn't like me any more than he likes Rashad Evans, but what my Christianity does do for me is it helps me make better life decisions, he said. It helps me not get sucked into what fame and money would do to most 24-year-olds, and ultimately, that leads to success. Some critics and haters have even called him out on multiple occasions for being cocky and arrogant, but to him, he was just being confident. I never really offend my opponent. I'm not putting anyone else down, Jones said in a UFC.com report report. I'm saying that I believe that I'm going to win in there. I believe that maybe he had a better wrestling career than me, but that I'm going to work hard and train hard on my defense and not even be taken down. It's all positive reinforcement and reassurance. It forces you to fulfill your own prophecy through hard work and training, and that's a powerful, powerful thing. He got his nickname from his past football team. Last but not least, were you aware of where the fighter got his Bones nickname from? In an interview with EA Sports back in September of 2013, Jones shared how he got his name Bones with the host Laura Berlingeri. The nickname Bones came from my high school. My coach is on my football team. They always call me Boney since before, which is the same height I am now, but I was like 170. Now I'm like 230, Jones recalled back then. So I was way skinnier and I was on the football team. I was a defensive lineman and whenever I got down my football stance, I was like, I just had these wicked skinny legs. I was all bony, so everyone went with Bones. When I started my MMA career, I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a tribute to my hometown by naming myself Bones, the fighter concluded when asked about his nickname. And with that, we're concluding today's episode regarding facts about John Jones, which are not known to many. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Before you go, don't forget to hit the like button on today's video, and make sure to click the subscribe button with the alarm bell on, so you'll be notified as soon as we upload new content on our channel. Thanks again for watching today's video, and we'll see you in the next episode.